Welcome to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077 with me, Jerupidus. And that's right, this game is finally here. It's finally out. This is probably the most hotly anticipated game of 2020. Um, lots of development delays. It's been like 10 years or something. And I'm really excited to get started and just dive into this game. So let's start with a new game. I think I'm going to play on normal because I imagine playing this on mouse and keyboard I'm going to be fighting with the controls just a little bit. So we'll go with that. And let's check out the life path options. So we have Nomad, which is roaming the Badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots, life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a Nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom, qualities that few in Night City possess and no amount of money can buy. Street Kid. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small-time pushers. You were raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong. The only law in Night City you have yet to break. And Corpo. Few leave the corporate world with their lives, fewer still with their souls intact. You've been there, you've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game, only winners and losers. That one sounds the least interesting to me. Nomad and Street Kid sound pretty cool. And I think I'm going to pick Street Kid, because I kind of want to be like a uh, street tough, kind of a gangster type of person. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to play as a dude, because I'm a dude. And this character creation screen is crazy. Like, you can go absolutely insane with it. Um, I'm probably not going to mess around with adjusting my penis size. <laughs> Um, but we will do a little bit of customization. I'm not gonna go over every single thing. Um, let's get a cool hairstyle. Let's see here. What do we like? I'm thinking something kind of like short. Uh, yeah, how about that? That looks pretty good to me. Don't really care about eye color. I guess I could go blue because my eyes are blue. I mean, I think that's a pretty fine looking nose, but let's see. I think that one looks a bit like me. And let's give him a beard, because I have a beard. It'll help me uh, get into the character a little bit more. I like that one, but I don't like the upturned mustache. So I think the first beard is what I'm going to go with. Yeah, it'll help me get more into the roleplay aspects if it looks a little bit more like me. Yeah, something like that. Why not? He's more handsome than I am, but uh, so is just about everyone. <laughs> and let's adjust our cool uh, face implant stuff. I kind of like the more subtle one, but let's see what the other options are. Yeah, okay. Kind of feeling that. Kind of has like a devil horn aspect a little bit. I don't feel the need to put on any eye makeup. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. All right. And now we have some character skills. Uh, each attribute contains a set of skills. Both attributes and skills provide different bonuses depending on your style of play. Skill levels increase as you perform activities associated with them. The maximum level of a skill is limited by the level of the attribute that it belongs to. So we have body, that's going to be like basically strength. Um, each level will add 5 health points, 3 stamina points, increased damage with fists and gorilla arms by 3, increased damage with melee weapons by 1.5%. Decrease movement penalty while grabbing an enemy and wielding an HMG by 6%. Increase movement while grappling an enemy and enemy grapple duration by 5 seconds. Um, that sounds pretty interesting to me. I especially like uh, the health points. 
intelligence determines your net running proficiency. Every level of intelligence will increase cyberdeck ram capacity by 4%, increase quick hack damage by a half a percent, and increase quick hack duration by 1%. Reflexes will determine our maneuverability. In addition to increasing your overall movement speed, each level in reflexes will increase your passive evasion from enemy attacks by 1%, increase crit chance by 1%, increase damage from mantis blades by 3 I don't know what mantis blades are, but it sounds interesting to me. Technical ability. Uh, it represents your technical know-how. It allows you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each increase in level will increase your armor by 5%. Okay, and then cool is going to be like sort of our stealth stat. So it determines our resilience, composure, and effectiveness in operating from stealth. Each level of cool will increase crit damage by 2%, increase all resistances by 1%, increase stealth damage by 10%, reduce the speed at which enemies detect you in stealth by half a percent, and increase mono wire damage by 3. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just put one to each of these because I don't really know what my playstyle is going to be yet. And then we'll put the remaining two in what I think I'm going to use. And I like body, um, health points, and stamina sounds good to me. So we'll put an extra in there. And then I don't think I'm going to be doing too much stealth. I'm kind of like a go-in hot kind of player. I like to shoot everybody in the face. So we'll probably leave that as is for now, but we'll see. I may end up changing my mind about that. And I like the sound of using tech weapons, so let's think about that. But I also like movement speed quite a bit, so let's just put another one in reflexes. And I assume we'll be able to uh, level these up as we go along. But uh, we'll, we'll do it like that for now, just kind of an all-rounder with a little extra body, a little extra reflexes. And let's go ahead and get started. Confirm. Yeah, I'm just very excited to see what this game has to offer. A little anesthesia. Let's take that shot right away. And we'll set our broken nose. Oh, motherfucker. Everything chill, mano? Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V, I got a problem. Serious this time. Find yourself a hole, sounds like. You need help. Ah, no, I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. He don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint. Deserve the hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. <laughs> you ever gonna get wise, Pepe? Please tell me your brother's doing all right. Uh, doing his thing, you know. So, can you help? I'll talk to Kirk. But then you're gonna owe me one. All right, welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. First time in Night City? Pay close attention to the tutorials to learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. We will try to do that. He's so good boy. You're saving my life, V. Truly. Demons walk with him. They tear at his soul. All right, let's see if there's anyone here we can talk to. So, you're gonna help me, huh, V? Hey, what's up? <laughs> What's up to you? Hey. Hey. Still, uh, you know? I still feel like shit. I'll be checking it back in the of the dog. Two bottles of sense. Yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. A short no, one. No, that ain't possible. 
Everyone in here seems pretty drunk, but that makes sense because it's bar. All right, it doesn't look like there's too many people I can actually. You have nothing better to do. <laughs> Apparently not. Doesn't look like there's too many people I can actually talk to. Don't got that neither. So let's just head up to the second floor. Oh, I was at the hospital today. Javi's got some broken ribs, but praise Jesus. The bullet is a shitstorm anyway. What happened? You said it, girl. Hey, Kirby. Wanna talk? Understand? V. Been a while? Spin it. What you need? You don't need. Never pass. Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shot a hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't fight. Not yet. Let's ask Big Joe what his deal is. How's your problem? <laughs> Not the talkative type. Let's ask what he owes. What's he owe you? Afraid that's client confidentiality. Call it a lot and leave it at that. A cred shark with business ethics. Sounds too good to be true. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. Let's ask him to cut him a break. Cut him some slack, will you? you will pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's, you gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No, you let him off because it's me asking. Huh, you know me. I'm a man of the bids. So I need to know what I get out of it. Uh, I don't think I want to threaten him, so I'll just say I owe him one. Transactions go two ways. I get that. I'll owe you a favor. Got a Nova idea already. this grab a look mm -hmm. cream ride there on the page only four of them in NC as of now one Rayfield regional director two mayor Ryan three a rental service uh huh and four number four will belong to my client just as soon as you clap it for me that is let's say we're not sure we can do it I'm no thief. Even if I wanted to, stealing a ride like that would be a level beyond me. Hell, two levels. Beautiful thing is, a Grand Theft Auto virgin like you don't need to know how. I already planned it. Whole thing simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, a club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. As soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. This sounds a little too good to be true. Let's ask who owns it. Who's the owner? Just an Arasaka suit from across the water. Spews cash out of every hole in his body. And his name? How would I know? Why would I care? It's a hot item, and I know where to find it. And your man, Rick? And your man, Rick? Trust him like my own brother. I mean, I don't feel like it's a shit plan, but let's see what he says. Plan sounds shaky as fuck. Oh, how so? Sounds like you're looking for a sucker. This ain't no setup, V. Heard you got a good head. Maybe we help each other make a few eddies. All right, fair enough. How do I get around the security? How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. <laughs> Come on, Kirk, even you don't buy that. 
Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. All right, let's steal a car. We are. Glad to hear. Always said you were a bright bulb. Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Be waiting for you. You two will hit it off. Good luck out there. We'll be in touch. All right. Well, with that, uh, I guess somewhat shaky sounding plan. It's definitely an interesting plan. We're going to go steal a car for him. And I just kind of want to look around this environment. All right. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anyone extra I can actually interact hey. with. Uh, do I know you? No, you don't. <laughs> and you never will. Today's final story is an unwelcome one for pet owners. The canine ownership tax will increase to 1,000 euro dollars per dog per month. That's going to be an unpopular law. All right, I, I feel like we've looked around here enough. But I'm going to try to like hunt around for extra loot or extra things to do and do kind of as many side missions as I possibly can. That looks like an unsavory character. <laughs> Fat ass motherfucker. Hey, why do I see no goddamn lemons, no goddamn limes? They're in there, for sure. Let's talk to this nice looking lady. That is sick. Rough night? Sorry. Slow night? Ugh, don't even start. I'm not gonna make the rent this month. I don't wanna even think about my brat's school fees. We met before. Don't recognize you. I just asked for a smoke. Jesus. All right. <laughs> She seems like she's in a bad way, but it doesn't seem like there's anything more I can do for her. But maybe we'll meet her again later, who knows? Spare veterans from change. Sorry, boss, I cannot. The cybernetic god comes to devour its children. Talk to the people in Santo. Tell them to be ready. Yes, Padre. All right, let's head over here. Well, who do we have here? We. Long time. Didn't know you were around. <laughs> hey, what hasn't changed a bit? Yep. No place like home. You haven't changed a bit. Sebastian Ibarra. Haven't changed a smidge. No one calls me by my name anymore. Almost forgotten how it sounds. How are things, Padre? The same. Haywood. Nothing ever changes here. I'd rather hear about you. Well, I got back a few weeks ago, apparently. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See, you got a good down-home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. He doesn't seem like the kind of person you say no to, so why don't we get in the car with him? So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Ember's. Front door? Take the ramp, back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. I just kind of want to check Your out the sights if I can. Has been good. Busy already. We're getting by. Eh, I pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So, I'd like that didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Doesn't seem like it. As you can see, I'm back. It'd been better there, wouldn't have left. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Uh, 
And it's pretty dark out, so we can't get too many uh, looks at the vista. But this game does look incredible already. Like some of the more realistic character models I've ever seen in a game. Uh oh. Stop the car. What's going on? Business. You carry? I hope so. Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be. Well, Patty. One more what? fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. You never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. Yeah, let's tell that punk to go pound sand. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still happening. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who was that? Who was that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just drop down below. Here, before you go. Let's take his card. Your number could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. Yep, let's go with God to steal this car. Let's see if there's anything we can find in this area before we head directly to where we're going. Hello. <laughs> Hello yourself. You can just barely kind of see huge buildings around. Yeah, this game has a very distinct uh, style and aesthetic, you know, cyberpunk, but uh, I really dig it so far. Very interesting. You but let's get to the job here. without too much more messing around. What are you? Some cards? Why not? Let's go to the parking garage. Me? Status. On location. About to find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Yeah, so you said. Just seeing if there's anywhere not an obvious I can go before I do yeah. this. Something I can help you with. No, not at all. Just having a stroll. Kirk. See the ride. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. All right, let's try this out. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. I don't feel rich, but look at the inside mm. of this thing. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. How do I see? Oh, cool. Wait, what the? Get the fuck out. 
Uh, Get take it easy. The fuck out. Okay. Easy. Nothing personal, Copa. Just biz. Rayfield's mine. What, man? Never heard of Thieves' Honor. Finders Keepers. I was first. Listen, only one or two ways to do this. Friendly or fucked up. Either way, the ending's the same. I'm taking the car. What? What are you doing? Can you got us? Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't move! You're under arrest! Stay where you are! Hands where I can see them. Nice and slow. On the ground, motherfuckers, now! Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. I see you haven't grown an ounce wiser. Hey! Detective Stins. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stins. <laughs> Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Come I on, don't know spit you. I'm yeah. waiting. You ain't to me. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. You Back don't know me? Tongue? You know. Fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Come on, Stint. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up, let just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck Ordinary yeah. street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't float. He's got a sweet gold vest. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Oh god, they're really gonna do it, huh? Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Yeah, same here. I thought we were gonna die. Man, same. Stints is out to get people. Wound tight. Though he does have a little honor left. Really think his sense of honor saved us? Well, and the fact he's Haywood born and bred like us. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Yeah, it may or may not have worked, though. Nah, come on. Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should've known I'd have the PD on my ass. So, maybe now, as God ordained. Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Yeah, that's where I uh, got the job. Got the job to steal those wheels at the Coyote. From Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe wasn't big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on. Let's go have some lunch. Are we friends now? I feel like we just became best friends. Just like that? You put a barrel to my skull not so long ago. You help my homies. You're okay in my book. No harm, no foul. None at all. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? 
about us. Sense of kind of chemistry, you know. <laughs> Me too. Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay. Food it is. Let's go. Yeah, let's go get some food. Why not? Hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. <laughs> Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gods will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. I feel like this is just kind of a... Uh... Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. The intro story to how we became like best friends. Matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The city of dreams. Pretty cool What's intro. Looking for somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? So this will be the tutorial section. Let's, let's ask him how he got it. Militech? Jack, we're talking classified military-grade shit here. How'd you get it? T-Bug. And our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Think she knows better? Nah. Said it didn't suit her, uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Okay, let's check it out. Sure. Why the hell not? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot! Move, move, move! <laughs> Hope you're ready to cool. bust ass through this fascist playground. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm-up. What do you say we crank it up a notch? Okay, not too tough. Not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. Quit standing around and take cover! Press C to crouch and hide behind cover. Cover can protect you from enemy fire. You took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. Uh, can I grab that while crouched? I can. So we press X for uh, healing. Head to the training area when you're good to go. Oh, look. I brought some chooms with him this time. You know what to do.
Boy, that one in the elevated position is kind of a hassle. Let's see if we can get him. platform and we'll move on okay so a little cover shooting hacking's the next item on the menu might notice I tweaked the course material a bit cool let's check it out all right hold tab to activate your scanner Job-related items are highlighted in gold. Scan two such objects. All right, did we do it? This training module will teach you how to apply technological tools to combat. Work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. Okay, so we hold tab. With the Cyberdeck installed, your scanner provides an additional interface for selecting quick hacks and their targets. Use distract enemies to distract the guard. Navigate the list with Q and E or mouse wheel up and down. So let's pick distract enemies. And then I believe we hit F to execute. Yeah. Okay. Corpo trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. So let's crouch walk all right, in there. All yours. Take him out. And we'll do R for a non-lethal takedown. Never smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork. Especially the dead kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. So let's pick him up. You can hide dead and unconscious enemies in certain places. Doing so will help you avoid detection by other enemies. Okay. So kind of like, uh... Reminds me of Far Cry a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Now, try to take him down in one slick move. And if they're conveniently placed right next to one, you could just pop them in there immediately. That's kind of sweet. Think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have fun! Not sure, but I will try it. Let's do camera control. More advanced quick hacks allow you to use the environment or enemies to your advantage. Okay. While in control of a camera, you can still quick hack. So you can like quick hack and then quick hack some more, huh? I don't have enough available RAM units to use the detonate grenade quick hack. Breach protocol can be used to trigger network wide effects. Use it now to reduce the RAM cost of all quick hacks. Okay. To upload the ice pick daemon, you must recreate its code sequence by selecting characters from the code matrix. The characters you select will be visible in the buffer. Okay. Breach protocol always begins with the first row active. Select 55 from the code matrix. Okay. 55. Ah, 55. BD and 55. Now, detonate the grenade. So now we have enough RAM to do the grenade detonate. So let's blow him up. This is pretty involved, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Cool, so it detonates his grenade. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Interesting. See, just needed to shut your brain down and follow orders in true Militech fashion. Under my wise command, you're a real champ. Take your spot on the podium. Thank you, T-Bug. Militech's algorithms put you on a decent run. 
Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Before you finish up, Delta out now. But remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or second chances. All right, let's keep going with the tutorial here. We'll check out the stealth options. Right. So first, let's shape up those stealth skills. All right, so we need to scan. And to take a target with your optical spyware, aim at it and press mouse three. So I got to click the my mouse wheel, looks like. All right. Let's crouch down and see if we can't sneak past here. All right, so that guy is facing my direction, but let's see if we can just sneak past. When you enter an enemy's line of sight, their alert indicator will begin to fill. Find cover to avoid detection. Find cover, quick. So you've nice. just got to nice. um, now, regain cover and they just the don't exit. notice. Stay out of sight. Which is pretty easy. And honestly, I like it when stealth sections are easy and not crazy difficult because... Nova, well done. On to the next area. It's really annoying to fail stealth stuff, I find. Keep an eye out for security systems such as turrets and surveillance cameras, which can trigger alarms to alert enemies to your position. Now the same thing, only with the camera. All right. So we can tag the camera. And that's going to let us see where it can see. Now, we want to go this way. I probably don't even need to crouch for this, but when I'm being sneaky, I feel compelled to crouch. I don't know if that's supposed to be transparent like that, but let's see what um, we can do. Sightseeing? Go over here and wait for it to turn away. Yeah, there we go. Let's go for it. And wait for it to turn away from here. And go. Not too tough. Nice work today. Just stand on the platform to exit the sim. All right, some advanced combat techniques for dessert. Then we wrap this party up. So it does seem like they're gonna want me to use the stealth mechanics. And at the very least, um... Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat. Take him down, but careful. Looks tough. At the very least, a uh, tab and scan seems pretty useful. So let's try to initiate a takedown. So enemies at a much higher level than you, marked with a skull icon, are able to free themselves from your grapple more easily. Defeating them is extremely difficult, so proceed with caution. That makes okay, sense. Okay, that'll do. Now maybe we find someone closer to your weight class. Okay, left click. I can do that. Perform a fast attack combo, press mouse click left while the previous fast attack is being executed. So just mash it. Hold to charge a strong attack, then release it to perform it. Okay. Continuously attacking your enemy will drain your stamina. Fast attack and strong attacks have different stamina costs. Your current stamina is displayed at a yellow bar at the top of your HUD. All right. The enemy is in a blocking stance. Strike him to see how your attacks affect him. Let's okay. bump things up from easy to normal. This next fool 
can block your attacks. They will not damage a blocking enemy. Only strong attacks can break their blocking stance. So we gotta... Okay. Click and hold. To break the block. And for us to block, we right click. Dull bit coming up now. Blocking blows instead of dealing. When you are hit, the attack will consume part of your stamina. If your stamina drops to zero, your blocking stance will break. Okay. Okay, their strong attacks can break our blocks the same way our uh, strong attacks can break their blocks. If you'd like to attack me, that'd be great. Okay. To counter an incoming attack, press right click uh, to block just before getting hit to deflect the attack and automatically deal the enemy a counter blow. Oh, I like that. Now this fool loses his footing every time he swings. Use that. Get in there and land a counter punch. Nice. Double tap WSAD to dodge in the direction you wish. So we have a dash. I like that. V, want to see this fool punch in air next. Don't let him land anything. That is real sweet. Use all our techniques to defeat the enemy, okay? You've done well in mastering the way of the fool, young apprentice. I can teach you no more. This is the part where you face your final test. Let's move on to melee weapons. Grab a sword. Man, this is involved, okay. I do like that I get to use a sword. So all the same stuff for when you're holding a melee weapon, okay. I definitely like uh, dodge and combo. That Good. seems fairly effective. Now show me what you've learned. You are equipped with a range of weapons and a cyber deck. You will now face a mix of enemies whom you already encountered in training. Defeat them however you choose. Okay. Take out these gun guys. Wow, that was super damaging. That was awesome. Wait till we can get a better angle on this guy. Good stuff. Sweet. Looks like you're cruising already. Hop on the platform. All right. Using melee weapons seems really fun. Good luck, V. Yeah, that was a fun tutorial. I'm surprised at how much there is to combat. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be, but, uh,. It's pretty involved, so it seems so, like you can kind of choose bad, your own huh? style. Now we can get down to biz. Did the fixer give you any tips? Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Let's All do right. this. Let's go do the job then. Elevator. This way. Okay, I'll be there in a sec. Just want to look around here, see if there's anything I can find. Doesn't look that way. Wow, someone sleeps there? Yikes. What does this say? <laughs> a homeless person who's got a dad joke sense of humor. Amazing. Oh, I thought I saw something. 
Dermo V. And I don't want to go the obvious way quite yet. Something here. Some handcuffs? Sure, why not? All right, doesn't look like there's anything else in here, so let's get a move on. We'll answer T-Bug's call. I like T-Bug. Targets T Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. <laughs> I do want nice and supportive, though. No, I'm just kidding. We're, we're street toughs. We don't need nice and supportive. What's this? Some cards? I love my card collection already. Vinyl record? I'll take that. Doesn't seem like there's anything else around. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomod. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Get back inside, lady. Ooh, dark chocolate. Try hacking the door. <laughs> Think you can trip it on your own, V? I think I should be able to handle it. And execute. A profile. I do like the way the music is getting louder as we get closer to the job. And let's see if there's any stuff in here we can steal from them. Is that her? Is that our target V? Uh-oh, he sees something. Let's get in there. Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packed with black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. Look at that. Horrifying. Just want to check if there's any loot laying around. Doesn't look that way. Sneak kill this guy. And the uh, mutilated person in the other room means I'm gonna kill this guy. I think as a uh, street tough, I shouldn't have any uh, compunction doing that. See if we can do any hacking here. I do want to at least tag the guys to try to use this mechanic. Anybody else I can see? So what what are my options here? I can short circuit, I can reboot optics. So that's more effective against drones, mechs, and robots. Okay, so let's try the, uh... Let's try the reboot optics. Oh, and I got a hack here. All right. So, let's do it. What, what's that? Oh, 
target out under fire. And definitely don't want to throw you Baby, yet. head down! No way. Not neither. All right, let's kill these dudes. I think it's a little late for that. Oh boy, better heal up. Oh, he's quick. This song is really cool. Oh, there's more of them. Ow, indeed. I think that dropped him. Does not seem like uh, Jackie can be killed, so that's good. Gotta be careful on this aim. Now what's happening? We're just doing some cover shooting here. I wonder what that was. Yeah, let's see if we can flank him. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Man, he went and got in there. Don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got him. Clear to go. <laughs> Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. All right. Well, that was uh, kind of challenging, actually. You've really got to make sure that you're staying in cover. But before we go look for why we came here, I just kind of want to loot these bodies because I can. Looks like everything. What's this? All kinds of stuff in here. Some grenades, an ashtray. <laughs> yeah, I'll pick these up and we'll check them out a little bit later. I just kind of want to pick up all the stuff I can because it's really early in the game. And I don't know what's useful and what isn't. More cards. Those have got to be the most useful thing I've been picking up. I got through here a moment ago. There we go. Uncommon item components? I like that. Out here. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I think that's enough looting. Is there ever enough looting, though? <laughs> and some healing stuff. That's nice to find because uh, we did end up using some. So let's go. Jesus fucking Christ. I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our bite on. Need to know what we're dealing with. <sighs> this does not look good. Yeah, let's just get right in Jacking there. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Okay, let's do it. Found the shard. We're moving now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck. She's flatlining. Hey, need to know what's Jackie, going on. air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Hey, catch, what the? Jeez, this is dark. I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabron. Get her outside. All right, let's take her outside. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. Where's the rescue? Oh, here, here they come. There you go. Let's rescue Five this poor woman. Now. And I guess this is what a what a medical rescue Patient looks like. It's pretty insane. Stimulus being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 for Brennigen. I just want to take a look at this view and just kind of digest what just happened. Wow. Ooh, cards. Okay. This poster is pretty amazing. And so is that one. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm ruining the uh, levity of the moment, but... Or rather, adding levity to a moment that should not have it, but what, whatever. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. I kind of want this Cutting huge my wires machine gun. Now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. Okay, you can borrow the car to go on your date. Why not? But man, that was a pretty frenetic first mission. I wonder if there's a way you can stealth that better than I did. Thank you. 
which was not you? at all. She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, he just teleported through there. Whoops. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Ah, right. So we also have a phone. So let's call Wakako. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Yeah, she's doing great. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, give it right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you are to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. All right, well, I was trying to dash, but I just couldn't. But that's okay. So we gotta hurry back before the police, like, close us out from getting back home. And yeah, so far this is pretty intriguing. I'm looking forward to getting deeper into the game. And this soundtrack is fantastic. <laughs> City like any other, just bigger. No, man, not just any other city. Working black hand, Michael Whelan, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Man, look at this place. This is really cool. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson and Murphy. So maybe this is our combat song. So to draw weapon, alt, holster weapon, and return to seat, double tap, alt. All right, let's go. Fucking dry, Jackie. Come on, Pete! Get down out of my Hey, keep her steady! Hold tight, Make sure we're healed up. Mierda! Perdón! Got you, asshole! Pete, aim for the driver! Alright, I'm trying. Picado. Nice! your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, B. It's okay. You can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. I wonder how easy it will be to get through this police blockade with bullet holes in our windshield. <laughs> I do enjoy that all Jackie ever wants to do is go eat. It's kind of the best. So we're coming up on the police blockade here. Pulling out all the stops. Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? Uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show up. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Giving me a chance. Waiting. Mm, that's a shame. Please? Look at it. 
No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through, but they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She bought it. Amazing. <laughs> I think she liked you. She took a liking to you. The devotion I demonstrated wrapped up by the god. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm hmm. And unassuming. You get it. I do get it. In fact, I feel like I'm really getting it. Like, I'm actually loving this so far. This has been fantastic. Guys are fucked. You look like your average boys. This ain't your average badges. Max tech. NCPD's apex predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gunks out there though. Just a midday snack for them. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. They had it coming. Something tells me I'm going to end up in a confrontation with them at some point. Which is terrifying, but also a little bit exciting. So I can press F to skip rides, but I'm not going to do that because I still want to look around. This is all new to me and pretty amazing. I mean, it just looks so cool. Made it. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V? Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh yeah. I'll play Nice Jackie again. Nice Jackie seems to work, so I have faith that he'll make it through. Man, the radio just plays nothing but bangers. This is sweet. Sweet dreams then. See you later. Don't miss the I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. All right. All we got to do is go home then, huh? So we leveled up. We got some attribute points and some perk points. And we'll check that out in a little while. Let's kind of crank up our movement speed because I just want to take a look around. Usually in these open world type games, you uh, don't always want to go immediately where the obvious path is, but it looks like there's nothing to do here. So let's just get in the elevator. Hello, Night City. I'm Jillian Drake. Good evening, Night City. My oh, it's T Bug again. I love T Bug. Bug. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zipping you her deeds. Zipping you her deeds, she says. <laughs> and our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. I love treating you, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Now, I thought they would open for me. Okay. Time to go home, I guess. I wonder if I can, like, buy stuff. Don't feel like I want to. I feel like maybe I'll need my money for something more important later. So we'll save it for now. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. Gonna have a word with the super. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That seems like it sucks. The elevator's always breaking in my apartment building, so I feel their pain. And I could look around some more, but it hasn't been particularly fruitful, so... Let's go to our apartment. Man, look at this, like, 70s-style recessed couch area. I love that. It's real sweet. So we got a wardrobe over here. My own money. I'll take that.
Uh, this doesn't look like anything super important. I'll just leave it for now. And what else is in here? It says press F to use, but it doesn't seem like I can. Oh, dick and whiskey. I'll take that. Ah, I gotta hold F. That makes sense. Messages. Alert, you've been attacked. Malware detected. Yeah, this looks like a uh, total phishing email. That's pretty classic. Penis nanogel scam alert. <laughs> Penis enlargement stuff? Okay. Maybe I should have done that in character creation and then I wouldn't need that email. Buy two tickets, get the third for free. Boy, just a bunch of crap in our uh, email. That's pretty true to life, I have to say. There's nothing futuristic about that. And the net. It looks like I can actually, like, navigate websites. Um, but I think we're getting pretty close to time on the episode, so we'll maybe check that out if it ever comes up as being useful. Or, uh, you know, maybe just some other time. Let's see here. Yeah, bounce back. I will take that. It's interesting that I can loot my own apartment. <laughs> and what's through here? Your stash is a secure system for storing equipment and can be accessed from all your available safe houses and vehicles. For example, if you store something in your car trunk, you'll be able to access it from your apartment later on. Okay, so it's like a, you know, I don't know, a Resident Evil box or something. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we got in here. So we got some grenades. Some street kicks. Nothing particularly interesting. I'm sure that this will get more useful later on. When we've got like a cool arsenal of guns and katanas it looks like. And all kinds of stuff. So I think for now, um, we're just going to go to bed. And we're going to call it an episode here. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.